there's going to be a there's a there's a significant crisis here without Spencer here. Like we, uh, we I like what's happening here. We're, we're having a, we're having an, an adult conversation. No, no, no. We're doing fine. Yeah. Everything that's happening right now is fine. That sounded like I'm protesting too much. Right. Uh, I'm just saying, like, like, like we don't we don't have a, a show closer. Is all I'm saying. We, we, have we ever had a show closer? We've never had a show closer. I'm not don't saying. Don't you play Dungeons and Dragons? Like, oh, closer? it's a great way to end the show. I'm just saying we always. Hey, we've both we done did Dungeons and Dragons episodes as well. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, I love your Dungeons and Dragons. Episodes. I watched yours yeah. before we did ours, and I watched. Did you? Uh, yeah. Of course. Did I write it before yours? Yeah. I thought you were before me for some reason. Oh no, man, your grandpa. <laughs> Grab, move, grab move you, over. You just you just went into one of my favorite things that the Irish uh, sometimes do is when they get excited they go falsetto. I love that. Did you follow my rainbow all the way here? <laughs> <laughs> I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't tell you. I don't think that I'm not being scared by this guy. <laughs> <It's like laughs> I told you to watch out. Liam Neeson on the phone with his pot of gold. <laughs> In a few minutes, they're gonna take you. Here's what you do. Tell him they get three wishes. I'm gonna grant them, but ironically. <laughs> Yeah. The, uh, no, I um, I uh, uh, used to play. Did you ever play Call of Cthulhu? No. Oh man, you should get into that. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like I, I'm having a, I, uh, I want to get into uh, Lovecraft now. Yeah. Really late. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I, I just, I just bothered to ask the question. Like, what is the deal with this Lovecraft shit? Yeah, I, I find him really hard to read. He's, he's kind of, I find him a bit boring. But, but there's You're something. Talking about re- reading H.P. Lovecraft, or is there a game called Lovecraft? No, there's a game called yeah, Call I, I, of Cthulhu I, based on H.P. Lovecraft oh, okay. stories. And uh, I was just talking about the whole milieu. Like, I, I think it's interesting that there was a guy that died so long ago that that, wrote, that that people still to this day kind of yeah. you know I kind of it's easy to avoid you should you're like, oh, I got other, other shit to do but it's the like the scariest take on Lovecraft I've read is actually Alan Moore's Lovecraft comics has anyone ever read them oh Alan oh. Moore wrote Lovecraft comics yeah he wrote two comics uh, that are just Lovecraft stories and they're horrible oh boy they're so yeah that seems like a match made in hell it's one of those things where you, you, you you're reading it and you and halfway through you wish you were reading it <laughs> well the, uh, uh, that's the, the theme of Lovecraft's yeah. universe right yeah yeah you, oh, get, uh, you get a book and you open it and you go like yeah, oh my yeah, god yeah. now I you like, really feel like something maybe that's bad what he was going for Alan yeah. Moore's like oh, a genius right yeah no no it's great but it's horribly great you know it's it's, <sighs> it's so funny that Alan Moore is like like he's like he's like a, a refined version of Stephen King and it has so much of his shit has been turned into bad shit but oh, he unlike Stephen he's King so he's like not cool it. with any of it yeah he hates it, he hates it. <laughs> Stephen King's like alright maybe The Shining was alright <laughs> yeah. I changed my mind yeah I met, I met him a few times and he's uh, and I told him I, I hadn't seen the Watchmen film and he hugged me <laughs> he, what, 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 to, to say you gotta well, get out there no 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 no. he's very happy very happy that I didn't that I didn't and wouldn't see it you know, I, 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 I gotta I gotta watch this like there's a documentary that's very like gonzo just like just him talking like I'd never I, I didn't really realize I, I, last year I realized that Alan Moore was the common thread between so many things that yeah. were so culturally effective I gotta get caught up on this guy yeah. he's great he's great what he's were great. you talking to him for um, I, I, I went to a dinner and he was invited or no I was invited to meet him by a comic shop in London called Gosh Comics Woo! which is a great comic <laughs> shop in London and um, there's almost nothing you they, can say that someone won't clap for that was, <laughs> that, that was a pretty deep cut I'm somebody from London. It's a great oh you're from London yeah, oh awesome, awesome. awesome. and uh, yeah and I, you know we just had a nice a nice dinner you know